All right, all right. Um, here we go. Uh, this is gonna be an example of the 2D game engine that I've been working in the Windows GDI uh, for a simple game that I I've uh, been creating. Uh, but for now, I've just been incorporating features and seeing what I can do and what I cannot do. But uh, I actually thought I wasn't going to be able to accomplish much, but I kept a positive attitude and uh, got some really impressive results to show you right now. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stroll around this level. And you can see just how smooth the scrolling is. Now I'm using OBS Studio to record this. So if you see any little bit of stuttering, uh, that's not the, the game. That's actually OBS Studio. Uh, hopefully the settings I use won't cause any stuttering, but you'll, you'll eventually see something happen. So this level here uh, with these bricks, you've got a mixture of red bricks. You've got purple grips. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, bricks. Uh, all this stuff that's in here was uh, I, I created all this stuff on my own. The 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 background on the back was a result of using a filter in Jim to create that tile tile effect. Um, I created the bricks by hand. Uh, the entire level was created by hand. It literally took forever. But I created it as a test bed uh, to test the many objects that uh, um, I plan to implement in this little game here. And uh, I am using, there's a considerable amount of classes that are making this work. So uh, right now, one of the things that I'm working on, as you can see on the screen here, is moving platforms. Uh, and moving platforms just, they're supposed to move the player from one location to another. Now. Right now, I can't get on top of them, but they don't carry me with them. So, as you can see, that's not working yet. That's actually what I'm working out. Uh, here's an example of Z order. Uh, this particular sprite here is actually uh, positioned in a way that my sprite appears behind it uh, to create kind of that illusion of, uh, you know, death death perception, I don't know if you recall it. There's another moving platform right here. This one is actually working on the Y axis. So it's able to move my sprite up and back down. So I, I've gotten that to work to some extent. Still have to tweak, uh, tweak a couple of things out of it. And I think I have this right here. So let's demonstrate the jumping algorithm. Uh, this, oh, let's wait for this platform to move back up. There we go. Okay, now we can do it. You can see it's more of an arc uh, platform. Messed me up right there. You can see it's more of an arc and not very pointy. You, know, you don't want your jump to be pointy. So that took a while to figure out. Uh, also here as well. So this is a small tour around the level. And uh, you're probably wondering what is this pinky girl we've got here. This is also a sprite on a different Z order layer. This one's actually set up so that the sprite appears in front of it. Uh, but none of these sprites I can interact with. Uh, they don't, they, we, just, we just go right through them. They're just, they're just there for looks and giggles. Um, now let's switch to... I can switch between characters here. So now we're gonna use this one. And uh, the concept is the same. Uh, again, platform. Um, I, I can push them off the ledge. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's let's go around here. Let's leave her there and let's bring this character over here. And I'm gonna push her off the ledge. You see how she falls. And I can go ahead and switch back to her, and he falls. You can also do this from a much higher ledge here. Uh, okay, let's wait for this. But I guess I can just push her now. And she just falls down. Um, platforms as well. I can put more than two on a platform. Uh, let's wait for this platform to get back down. There we go. We're going to jump on top of it. And we're just going to get right on the corner right here. So we can leave a little bit of a space for Look for a girl here. There we go. And now they're both on the platform. And you can see how they, they're both carried by the platform. And that's a bad. I'm happy with the functionality right now. Now I can 
they can be on top of each other. You can see just how they move there. You can see there's a lot of jittering around. I think that's because there's there's a lot going on there. There's a moving platform, there's scrolling, and then there's the collision system is <coughs> doing its job. <coughs> so I'm going to jump out of there. Uh, I can also, I believe I can push uh, the blue one off the ledge while I'm on the platform. Let's see. There we go. Let me just push him off the ledge. Oh, a little kiss. Mwah. <laughs> yep, so that's... Uh, this is what I've accomplished in the Windows GDI so far, and uh, I'm very impressed. Uh, let me tell you, this was not easy. This took a very long time. There was a lot to figure out, uh, but I learned so much. I learned so much. Um, learned so much with it, and, and I'm only getting started. So if anybody's trying to do something like this, I highly recommend that you try it. It's a lot of fun. It's you'll learn a lot from it uh, so that's all i got for now guys i hope you liked the example and uh, if you got any questions just leave them down below and uh, bye bye